This is the story of Ixodes the Tick. Ixodes Rikinus is his full name. He's the most widespread species of tick in Switzerland. He has a diameter of only 4 millimetres, but can do a lot of damage. His territory is a pretty woodland glade in a Swiss forest, or it was, until he hopped onto Marius's leg. Ticks don't fall from trees, as is widely believed. They climb up to a metre above the ground and attach themselves to you as you go past. And that's exactly what Ixodes did when Marius brushed past him without realising it as he strolled through the long grass. Now the body exploration phase begins. For several minutes, or even several hours, the tick travels around the skin, looking for the best place to burrow into. Usually, it's where the skin is fairly thin. And this time, it's Marius's groin. With its fine claws and a special kind of saliva that works as biological glue, it begins to suck the blood of its host. But first, it numbs the area so that the person won't feel anything. Ixodes, to his great joy, fills up with blood. And like the other 850 species of ticks, he regurgitates some of it. And here's the danger for Marius. This is how Ixodes may infect him with the bacteria that's carried in his salivary glands. Every tick species has its own particular kind. For Ixodes, it's the Borrelia burgdorferi bacterium, which is known to cause Lyme disease, the usual case in Switzerland, with 9,000 to 12,000 people infected every year. Or it can be the tick-borne encephalitis virus, with about 100 to 250 cases a year. At the present time, some 60 microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, fungi, are known to be transmitted by the creature. Fortunately, not all of them are found in Switzerland. It's believed an infected tick has only a 10% chance of passing those undesirables onto a human it bites. The main thing is to get it out quickly, as Marius manages to do, 24 hours later, using tweezers to break up Ixodes' little party. He then burns him in a porcelain dish, all the time thinking, what a fitting end it is for a creature said to thrive on heat and global warming. 